Nice day. So, what do you want to do? You're going to do it up far. No, trying to do up far. I don't know why it's not bothering me. Oh, you have to twist it up and pull the sides apart. Yeah. So, blow it up. Yeah, but do it at the very narrow end of, of it. So, blow it up again. You could do it do it at the end of it. Ow. Are you okay? Dang it. Sorry. We can we have other balloons, Zane. Do you want a long skinny one? That's something we can go do. Those are cool bees, right? as fast as you could. There's holes there. Mm -hmm. Those are actually the size of wire that you might do gauging. I don't really like these particular cutters, but they do allow you. Notice the gap there? It's to take the outside of the wire off. I'm looking for a wire that I can use to demonstrate this. No, thank you. Not that one. Um, 
No. Because it's connected to that. I know. I, I have lots of wires, but I just, I'm trying to think of ones that aren't actually quasi useful. Who cut this? I could, but I don't want to. But can I cut it? <laughs> it's okay for you to cut it, but not okay for me to cut it. Well, you know why I like these? These are for my, my voltmeter. There's my voltmeter on the ground. Great place for it. You know why I like these? Why? These are my show you the problem with doing this, okay? You just go ahead and cut it. Okay, now you cut it, but what I really wanted to do was I wanted to strip it to so watch this. This is the harder part. So you have to kind of cut it. So normally what I do is if I get enough sheeting, so I really want to do it because what you want to do is you want to strip the what this is called the sheathing. Can I cut? You can. I just want to see if I can do it first. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll go in there and snip down the... Now, I don't know how many wires this is. I think it's two wires. Two or three wires. Oh, okay, so look. Do what? What happens if you put all those together in water? Nothing. Because it's... Okay, first off... Let's just cut the face off. I'm gonna show you. That thing never worked for me in anyway, so now it's it totally won't work. Okay, so those are the wires. So we have one, two, three, and this is usually called ground. Oh, it looks like there's another wire in there actually. So there's four wires and a little bit of grounding. And I have no idea what the grounding is for, or what these wires actually do. That's a communication pathway for a, what did I cut off? But now let's try this side then. Now do what I did. I did that here, now try to do the same thing on, on that side. While you're doing that, I'm gonna find, try to find the other piece. See how that's kind of cutting? Whoa. But you see why it's doing that? Is because of that because of that hole. Now a pair of dikes. Now notice this section right here. This section right here. This is actually where you cut things. Okay, that's where it actually just cuts. Well, it's not doing a very good job, is it? Probably because I use it for something. Yeah, see how that's all messed up. Stain cuts. See 
What is supposed to, this is supposed to be the cutting section and this is supposed to be the stripping section. Could we, we use it for leaves? Do what? Use it for leaves? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wish we could do it and then we... But these work better for leaves. Yeah, I remember that. Could they also cut wood? Can they cut what? Well, uh, leaves. Well, let's try. It's a good question. You know, I had a problem with the wire. Actually, a pair, of <laughs> a pair of scissors will work better on this than these wire cutters. It's these clean off. Yeah, these are mainly for stripping wire. And I try to strip the wire with this stuff. Cutting is easy, but actually stripping it is something else again. 